Hi, my name is Wesley Deason. I am a research scientist for the Center for Space Nuclear Research. A nuclear thermal rocket, a quick explanation, is essentially a nuclear reactor, so an assembly of uranium fuel that heats up to a high temperature in order to heat up liquid hydrogen. At the start, liquid hydrogen, but then as it starts to expand and turn into a gas, we then heat it up to almost 3,000 degrees Kelvin and push it through a nozzle. And this provides thrust for um, a mission to Mars or a mission to Jupiter or even some sort of shuttle that would take you in between uh, Earth, low Earth orbit up to the moon. And this sort of technology is, is something that has been um, thought about and designed and worked on and even tested its propellant efficiency, what we call the specific impulse, is essentially doubled out of a chemical engine. This means that um, we're able to bring less propellant along with us to low Earth orbit in order to get to the destination that we need to get to. Uh, um, there's two aspects to this modeling that I, that I focus on. One is the nuclear modeling. So as a nucle nuclear engineer, uh, I have to try and understand and make sure that the nuclear reactor built for the nuclear rocket is something that can produce power. You need a certain amount of uranium in order to achieve that critical mass that's so important. What's also important is that we heat up the propellant to as high a temperature as possible and still not uh, degrade the integrity of the nuclear fuel used in the engine. So the history of my involvement with the space nuclear community really comes down to uh, seeking out this opportunity uh, through the pathways of internships. There are quite a few internships offered through the Department of Energy Laboratories that are offered by NASA centers and that are offered by other nonprofit organizations uh, like the Center for Space Nuclear Research where I currently work that offer the ability for undergraduate and graduate students to get their foot in the door for um, those young men and young women out there who are interested in science and technology and the expansion and growth of the human race. Uh, if you want to get involved in this field, it really starts uh, at, at your high school level. The science, technology, engineering, and math uh, fundamentals that um, this technology is based upon is uh, where you need to focus your, your efforts and try to uh, focus and learn. You know, when, you're, when you're in high school, take that calculus class. Uh, try and, whenever you get to college, uh, take, a, take a major that challenges you.